Okay, everyone. So today I'm going to talk about one of my favorite printmaking materials, and that's Gamuban. So the reason why I'm making this video is as an artist and coach, I want to make sure that uh, people just starting their creative practice, especially with printmaking, are confident in the materials that they use. And especially when it comes to linoleum, there are so many different types of substrates out there to choose from that, frankly, it's overwhelming. And I found one, a Japanese rubber called Gamuban, that I feel is the best, truly, in every single area. We have all these, uh, I have a selection here of some rubbers available in the U.S. Uh, Gamuban is not normally available in the U.S. It's something that I import directly and use in my professional work, my workshops, and I also sell in my shop. So this is the Speedball Speedy Cut Block. This is a Blick Arts, a just generic uh, block from Blick Arts, also known as Dick Blick. And then this is called Richeson Linoleum. It is a clear rubber. And then this is another uh, piece of rubber from Blick Arts. And when I talk about linoleum or lino cut printmaking, linoleum is essentially rubber. And so I'm just gonna use that word interchangeably. Uh, rubber equals linoleum. <laughs> so uh, Gamabon is incredibly versatile. It comes in uh, an 11 by 75 uh, by 15 by 75 sheet, and you can cut it down to any size that you want. So I have, here's the size um, cut down, right? A block that I made from a Gamabon sheet. Here's some other smaller ones. Here's another one right here, a little flower that I cut out. And then here's a nice little fall leaf. So. It's incredibly versatile in that it's easy to cut, right? Um, and it's very strong in that regard. As you notice too, there's green on one side and blue on the other. So I'm just gonna quickly speed through the reasons why I like Gamuban uh, material. And then I'll just go into each of those reasons with a little bit more depth. So the first reason is that uh, it lays flat. It's double-sided. Uh, it's very versatile for your working style. The interior of Gamuban is gray, so you can see where you've carved. You get an easy read on your prints. The Gamuban doesn't expire. You can cut it out uh, into different shapes. And it's really inexpensive compared to other rubbers for lino cut printmaking available in the US, like the Speedy Cut. Like I think this is a $6 block, uh, which is insane. Um, so I'm gonna delve into each of these reasons a little bit more now. Lays flat. This is really important and really crucial. And you may be thinking, well, these all lay flat, Charles. Why is it so great that Gamuban lays flat? Uh, well, this is really thick, right? These two in particular are very thick pieces of rubber. Um, and so when you try to register it on an etching press bed, or even when you're printing off the press at home, printing on a table with a hand pressure, this thickness makes it very difficult to register your paper, um, especially if you're limited on space and if you're printing multicolored blocks. Also, the thicker and spongier these materials are, even this thin Richardson linoleum, um, it's going to squash and even harm your image. So the Gamuban is thin, it lays flat, and it's very strong. So uh, if you're printing with a lot of pressure on or off the press, um, it's going to absorb that pressure and not squish like these spongier types of uh, linoleum do. So really important that it lays flat. Uh, again, Gamuban is double-sided and this is really cool if you're working on an image with more than one color. So uh, I have this example right here. This is a block that I carved for a workshop once, just a really quick demo block and uh, so I have one color on this side, and then when you flip it over, I have the other color. 
right? So if you like to work in multiple colors, then it's nice to have them both on this, you know, either sides of the block. Also, if you just like this print strict black and white, then it's a two for one, right? You can have two different images on each side of the block. So uh, basically cuts your money in half. Um, yes, you can do that with these other blocks. Yes, you can carve on both sides, but because Gamuban is gray, uh, you instantly know when you don't have to carve anymore, when you've carved deep enough, right? As soon as you carve and you see this gray pop up, okay, you've carved all you need to carve. With these guys uh, here, I've seen people carve straight through the block because they're not sure if it's gonna print or not. So. Uh, it's great that as soon as you see this gray pop in, you know that you'll need to carve any deeper. And that grayness also is instant feedback, knowing uh, what your image is most likely going to look like when it prints, right? It's very easy to say to yourself, oh, okay, if it's gray, then I don't really need to worry about carving here anymore. I know it's not going to print. Uh, one of the coolest things about <clears throat> Gamoban is that it's very versatile when it comes to your working style. And when I say working style, I mean just like the way you like to approach the printmaking process. Lots of people like to draw like their designs out in advance or work from a stencil. So, you know, I have some stencils here that I've cut out, right? Uh, and some people like to draw directly on the block. I love to do both. And so I'm gonna show you right now a quick demo of how easy it is to transfer an image onto Gamoban and then tell you why I prefer transferring images to Gamoban other than you know transferring with these onto these other blocks here. So um, first I'm going to choose this size and this is a little template that I made. Um, <clears throat> For some of my uh, shorter workshops, I like to give people a visual prompt. And so uh, you can just take this. So it can be anything that you like. It could be your own personal drawing or one of these templates that I made. Uh, flip it over. And I'm actually just going to, before I do that, I'm just going to trace it with graphite, right? This is going to be a graphite transfer. So I'm going to just draw over this template like so. Give me a little bit of time here. And yeah, you could draw on either side. I guess I just chose to draw on this side. But uh, I'm just going to outline this drawing. And there is something you can also use called carbon paper. Carbon paper uh, will take to some blocks not others. For example, if you were to use carbon paper on this block, it wouldn't work. It would work on this block. I think you can kind of even see the red from carbon paper and it would not work very well on this block either. These spongier ones aren't going to be so receptive to carbon paper. You need a hard surface like wood if you're doing wood block printing or this Gamuban rubber, which is a very hard surface. So I've outlined my uh, template now, my little flower. You can see my graphite lines. And again, this is just like a normal number two pencil. I'm not using anything hard, uh, any special art pencils. I'm just gonna paste it on there and tape it down with some normal scotch tape, right? And I'm gonna take my graphite pencil and just rub like so push down. And again, just a number two pencil. Sometimes uh, in the workshops that I teach, I'll have people use an HB pencil because the lead is harder for this part and a graphite pencil for tracing. Soft, uh, softer graphite will transfer easier. Harder graphite is better for doing this step I'm doing now where you're transferring your image to the block. And so here, it's faint but you can see the drawing right here on the block, right? Easy. Um, I'm just gonna reinforce that with Sharpie though. And with Gamuban, this is one of the big things is that 
the Sharpie will not dry out when you use it on the Gamuban. This speed ball right here, uh, this speed ball speedy cut block will dry out a Sharpie in no time. So will this one right here. These sponger blocks will just suck all that Sharpie. Um, they'll just suck it dry. But with the Gamuban, it takes a nice clear line as you can see right and i'm just going to quickly finish this up there all right so now i'm going to carve the gummy bond out not this whole thing but i'm going to show you uh how carving this is so much easier than carving with these guys so i'm just going to pull this out here and with uh with the gamuban it doesn't take an extreme amount of force to carve right you can carve pretty easily just by pushing down and scooping right just doing a scooping motion like that very easy and you get that instant feedback right of what's not going to print and so especially if you're just starting out or you're working on a, a really detailed image uh it's just one less thing to think about right when you're carving you want to be 100 percent focused on carving that block right making it the best you can make it. And if you have to stop and constantly check, oh, is this carved out enough? Did I go up to the line? Is this really going to print how I want to print? Uh, it just takes away from that. It's just one more thing to think about when you're trying to be creative. So as you can see, it's very easy to tell what's going to print and what areas need a little bit more work, right? Uh, with these speedball blocks, yes, you can kind of see, but because the block is pretty much the same color throughout, you either have to stain the block with graphite, which is really messy, <clears throat> or hold it up to the light and let it shimmer, right? Either way, it takes a really long time, and the instant feedback of whether or not something is carved uh, just isn't there. Uh, same thing with this block, right? As soon as I carve, um, you can kind of see that fresh carve mark, but it's not nearly as pronounced as the gray. This one right here, same thing. This I actually found to be one of the worst <laughs> line of blocks I've ever used. It's so hard to carve because the rubber actually just catches into the blade of your knife um, and the lines that you carve are so inaccurate and it also gets very powdery when you carve and so uh, this linoleum doesn't really last long and it doesn't hold up it doesn't withstand a lot of multiple printings just because it falls apart so fast <clears throat> and then this richardson linoleum yes you can carve it and when you do carve the top, you do kind of see, right, where you've carved, but this is super difficult to carve into. Um, it's constantly moving around, especially if you have an image taped underneath it. Uh, it doesn't take Sharpie well, um, or graphite for that matter. Uh, and so carving with this is just an awful experience all around. And so I love carving with the Gamaban because if you look at this block right here, especially, you can get incredibly detailed, right? And know exactly how it's going to print because you still have that green surface color, right? Or you can make these really sweeping, broad cut strokes, right? So, uh, no matter how you like to transfer your image to the block or however you'd like to carve it, this is very easy to work with, right? Gummabond's versatile. It works to your style. 
what I also mentioned before, yeah, it doesn't expire. So these other linoleum rubbers, especially uh, Battleship Gray linoleum, that's a really popular one here in the U.S. because you can get this great amount of detail with it. That stuff expires. It uh, will get very powdery and there's also this canvas backing on it so it doesn't even lay flat. Um, and so while most other uh, rubbers used for linoleum cut prints will expire, the Gamma Bond will not. You can keep it around for a long time and it'll be just as good as the day you bought it. Whether you're starting to carve into it for the first time or if you've had an image for years, right? So these are the big reasons why I like using Gamabon to uh, transfer images and carve images. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to talk about why I love printing with Gamabon so much. Um, it's just a whole nother video right then and there, a whole new host of reasons. So you can purchase Gamabon directly from uh, me, my shop, uh, blockpaperprint.com shop. And in part two, again, 